hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new here click that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber welcome back in this video today i'm going to be showing you how i achieved this black and white abstract set um it was a birthday set for one of my clients um so let's get straight into this video guys so as you could see the first thing i did was push back the cuticles using a cuticle pusher and now i'm going in with my 240 grit sanding band from hollywood nail supplies and i'm using that to remove the shine from the natural nail i'm doing this on a low speed um i'll link down my new nail drill that i use i don't use the um scarlet drill by melody suzy anymore i use the scamander i think that's what it's called um and i use that on speed three like it's literally the lowest speed and i'm just going in gently and i am removing the shine from the natural nails now i'm going in with this um ceramic cuticle bit guys i use this sometimes to just lift the um cuticle um up from the nail plate um because now guys i cut cuticles um before i was scared to but now i just realized it gives a more cleaner look so i'm just using that to lift off the cuticle from the natural plate the dead cuticle by the way like Make sure you don't cut into the live skin, guys, because that's like a barrier for bacteria. And if you break that barrier, your client could get infections. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing, basically. And I don't do this all the time. It just depends on whether I'm not able to, like, push back the client's cuticles properly due to, like, them being really, really hard or really, really, like, stuck to the nail plate. And now I'm going in with my C-curve nail tips, guys. These are from acrylics underscore UK. Um, I'll leave the link down below and you can get 10% off with my code GlamourNails10. Um, make sure to shop acrylics UK. Um, as you guys know now, I use C-curve tips. I don't use tapered square tips anymore because these are really long. These are XL, so I prefer them because I have a range of clients that um, like long, longer sets, so it's just easier to not double tip the nails. And I prefer the look of C-curve tips because they're really straight. And yeah. Oh yeah, and I am using Hollywood nail glue. Um, from hollywood nail supply um i'll link down everything that i use in the description box if i do forget then please um remind me in the comments So right now what I'm doing is cutting the nail tips. Um, she said she wanted roughly my length, so that's why I'm using my pinky to measure um, so that she can roughly have my length. And then I'm just going in with these scissors. I think I bought them off eBay, guys. Um, they're called stalk scissors. I think that's what they're called. But I just prefer to use these to cut tips because every time I'd use the normal tip cutters, they would always get stuck. And my hand would cramp for some reason i don't know why so i just prefer using scissors now on And now guys, I'm going in with my 8080 grit DD nail file and I'm just using that to shape up to shape tapered square. Um I went for a narrower look um and it was much nicer. I prefer it this way. Um so it's literally just in between like tapered square and coffin. Um that's basically what I'm going to do now. Um yeah. So guys, I apologise because in my last video I did not put a 
quote from the bible in the beginning um i don't know what i forgot guys honestly it's the enemy trying me but obviously i i had anxiety because i haven't uploaded in ages so you know hope you guys enjoy the quote that i put at the beginning of this video um as i'm getting back into youtube i'm thinking of more ideas and more different video ideas also i did get a camera um i got the canon m50 so i'm still like playing out with the different angles and the different like zoom so each video that i'm about to upload is going to look very very different in terms of like the zoom and stuff and i still don't know how to make it like autofocus it's always going out of focus like whilst i'm doing um a client so i always have to keep tapping the little um screen for it to go in focus so i still need to figure out how to exactly work the camera properly but i hope you guys still enjoy the content and my dust collector is really dirty guys because i had so many clients this day so please do not watch that So what I'm doing now is I'm going in with that same 240 grit sanding band and I'm using that to blend the tip to the natural nail and at the same time etch the surface of the nail tip. You guys already know what time it is. I'm using my um, cuticle nippers to go in and clean up the cuticles, nipping off any dead skin. Um, it looks like I'm doing this really aggressively, guys, but I promise you I'm not. Like, this does not hurt my client at all. I always make sure that I don't cut too far in because, trust me, guys, if you nip somebody's cuticle, it, like, never stops bleeding. So, please, please, please be careful. If you're not too sure about this, I'd say practice on yourself and take your time first and don't cut too far in. Um, but, yeah, guys, I do this now because um, I just feel like it gives a cleaner look. Um, but, yeah. So I'm going in with my undefeated duo. I'm going in with Naya Nails Dehydrator to dehydrate the nail plate. And then after I will go in with my Mia Secret um, Extra Bond to prime the nails. Um, and you guys know that this is what I always use. I'm thinking of going back to Protein Bond again to see which one's better. Um, but so far I'm just gonna stay with Mia Secret but I was thinking about it I might just buy a few bottles of um, Protein Bond and see how it works because I used to use it quite a while ago but I can't remember how it works but I still do want to try it again 
but yeah and now i'm going in with a custom mix acrylic guys guys you lot always ask me what nudes i use i don't know guys i honestly don't know this um nude has shimmers in it so i mixed um some glitter that i got off aliexpress i really don't know the link so i'm so sorry guys and then um some colors that i got from glitter bell neonels like their cover colors and i'm just using that i mixed it so guys i really just don't know what color this is so please do not ask me in the comments because i will not be able to give you a straight answer um but yeah so that's basically what i'm doing um giving it a nude base and then obviously for the abstract design we will go in with black and white gel polish to um do the design so yeah guys um it's just going to show you the application process um if you are struggling with application i do have other videos about um application so i will link them in the cards above for you guys to view them um like i said if you have any questions please write them down below and i'll be sure to um answer them and for this set i don't think i'm using a particular bead method like sometimes i use a bead method sometimes i don't but you guys know me i'm not really a bead method person like i just apply as much as i need when you're applying make sure that you're looking at the nail from all the different angles guys you do not want a flat apex you don't want bumps or dips in the middle of the nail you need to make sure that it's nice and uniform and smooth so make sure you're just not looking at it from above you're looking at it from all angles i want to do a video as well where i show my application from the side but i'm not too sure how i would film that like i'd have to probably have two cameras one showing you guys a view from above and then showing you guys the view from the side as well so yeah
now that I'm done with application, I'm just going in with that same sanding band um, and I'm just smoothing the surface of the acrylic um, and sealing the cuticles. Sorry guys that this is out of frame, like I said, I'm still trying to get used to my camera. I'm so used to my phone guys that having the idea of having a camera is so weird to me. But I feel like it needed to be done because the quality of the footage guys chef's kiss like <laughs> but yeah so i'm just going in um removing the shine i said removing the shine ignore me smoothening the surface of the acrylic um getting rid of any like ridges that i might have created whilst applying the acrylic but my application is pretty smooth you know not to toot my own horn but <laughs> i'm sorry guys ignore me but um yeah my application is quite smooth so that's why i use a um 240 grit sanding band but if your application is a bit bumpy if you're still in your beginner stages you know it's okay you can use a more coarser drill bit like i'd say like a medium carbide bit to um smoothen the nail or get rid of any bumps and lumps or just use a more coarser sanding band if you're afraid but i would say when you get to around the cuticles reduce your speed so you don't create like heat spikes on your um client's nail beds or like um drill too far into their cuticle because you know sometimes when i've had clients come to me like and they've been to other nail techs and they have like this line uh, like in the form of their cuticle and as their nails have grown out you can see like a dip so you don't want that so you need to make sure that as you're going around the cuticle you angle your drill bit so that it's not digging into the nail plate i hope you guys understand what i meant there but yeah just take your time um make sure it's smooth like i said keep looking at it from different angles and then also um slow down the um, speed when you get to around the cuticles and you should be fine And I'm going in back with that 80 80 grit nail file to clean up the side walls um, with C curve tips also make sure that you do file under the nail so that it's a nice straight like base um, but yeah I'm going um, around the side walls and then I will like angle my um, nail file so that I do file underneath the um, nail tip to like take away any um, bumps as well 
um, like I said, just to make sure that it's like a straight platform. Um, these are all things that I would include in like an application video that shows you an angle from the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I will think about how I'm going to do that, um, but bear with me guys. So guys, I skipped a few steps in this video. I'm just gonna tell you what I did. So you could, you didn't see, but I buffed the nail really, really, really smooth. And after I take a lint-free wipe and I um, pump some alcohol on it and I rub that over the nail to get rid of most of the dust so that I have a smooth base to work on for the nail art. So guys, I am now going into um, the nail art section, I'm just using D&D &D, um, white gel polish in the colour French Tips, guys. It's the one in the gold bottle. If I can find a picture, I will put it up there. Guys, this is probably the best white gel polish I have ever used in my entire life, guys. And when I put you guys on products, like... I really put you guys on products because guys this is this gel polish is so pigmented like one coat and you're done guys I use this for like every um French tips that I do with gel polish any nail art that requires why I use this um gel polish because it's so pigmented and one coat is enough guys a lot of gel polishes i've used you need two coats and that's just annoying and it's time consuming so if you can find a gel polish that can beat this okay let me know but yeah i'm just going on my nail art brush they'll be linked down below and the gel polish also will be linked down below if i can find a link for it but i usually just go into hollywood nail supply store and buy it from there um but yeah so i'm just going in and drawing the white parts of the um, design that the client showed to me. Um, I don't have um, an app for the who it was inspired by. So if you know who this was inspired by, please tag them down below or comment them down so I can um, give them credits as well. Um, but basically my client showed me a picture and I was just basically copying the picture. Um, but yeah. So you guys can watch me do this. Um, I don't really have much else to say really. Um, I will do a video on gel polish application um, and tips to improve gel polish application since I've been getting quite a few DMs about that. But guys, just take your time. It takes practice. I promise you I was not good at gel art in the beginning, but over the summer, the amount of gel art sets I had done was insane like i had no choice but to get good at it so like i said practice is your best is your best friend guys if you don't practice you cannot possibly expect to get better so you know although it's hard and sometimes it is discouraging you just need to practice 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 until you get better um yeah and i know someone's gonna ask me this why didn't i use base coat i don't use base coat because Sometimes my clients don't know how to just keep their hands on the table and base coat is sticky so like they'll bring their hand up and I will see little fuzzies and little lints on their nails and that pisses me off so I would just rather not them like not put on gel and base coat and just buff the nail really smooth like I said guys if you've been to me before you know that i buff the hell out of those nails like i buff nails like i've never buffed before just to make them so smooth so that obviously the application of the gel polish can be smooth and there's no lint and stuff because that's what base coat is meant to do like give you a smooth base make the gel polish adhere properly but if you do buff like i do and um 
what's it called what, do, what else do i do i use alcohol to clean the nail you should have literally no problem all the oils should be removed on the nail and you should have like a decent um gel polish application so now guys i'm going in with the black um this black is also from dnd gel polish um i like this black but sometimes it can be it's not as pigmented but you know this is so far the only gel polish that i'm using that's black i would say that if you do want a more pigmented black i used to use a gel paint um, that i bought from aliexpress and it was very very pigmented so i would suggest you guys opting for a um gel paint if you want a more pigmented dark black but like i said i'm just going in and following the design i do make a bit of mistakes um as i'm applying the design so i do go back and um use some acetone to clean it up so you guys will um see that in the video you know although the design comes out nice we're all not perfect um you guys usually don't see the process of nail techs doing some designs and um you know we all make mistakes nobody's perfect we all have we like for example me i make mistakes when i apply gel polish just always remember that you can clean it up and don't get discouraged guys because there was a point in my like um nail journey where i was just like wow i can't do anything without making a mistake but mistakes are part of learning guys so i would say don't be too harsh on yourself um if you do make a mistake or if you do um overdraw your lines or smudge it or make a mark literally just wipe it up with some acetone and um continue oh yeah um i did cure the white gel polish before i'm putting the black gel polish um so putting acetone like to clean the black gel polish would not remove the white gel polish as you guys will see so don't 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 wipe up with acetone if you haven't cured the gel polish already from the first white layer okay So guys, now it's top coat time. I'm done with the design. I've cured it um, again in the lamp. And I'm just going in with my d, &D gel top coat. You guys know that I swear by this top coat. I'll leave it linked down below as well. Um, yeah, guys, if you don't have this top coat, go buy it. Um, it's really good, really affordable. It's only eight pounds. So yeah, and I'm just going in, making sure that I'm covering the entirety of the design. I'm covering the side walls um, and then after if I do have any dripping over the edge I will go in with my finger to clean it up 
to uh, maintain the shape and make it look nice and neat once again guys i apologize for this footage going in and out of focus i'm still figuring out how to keep my camera in focus or put it on autofocus or whatever so hopefully that will improve as i do more videos over time and yeah So guys, here's the finished look. I did not take any videos, unfortunately, because I did have a client right after. So here are just some pictures of the set. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them. Love you guys and see you in my next video.